All right, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Luke the Vacuum Saver tuning back into another video with you guys. How's it been? So, yes, I missed you guys, and it's you may be saying, "Hey, Luke, it's been a long time since we've done a vacuum save video." Well, you're not wrong. I haven't been getting in as many vacuums as I usually do, but on the other hand, I did get some in recently, as you see here. And unfortunately, my shark vacuum went kaput on me this morning. So, um, to the shark, thank you for all that you did for me throughout these God knows how many years I've had you now. Um, but you're a good one, and I have assigned a new vacuum to be the garage vacuum. And it is this guy. My Hoover Wind Tunnel. Self-propelled. But... There's something else waiting for you on the screen here, if you can see it. Um, so, welcome. If this is your first video with me, my name is Luke, and I stay vacuum cleaners. I clean them out and give them to people that are in need in my area for free. So, um, it's really, really a nice thing to do. Sorry about the shakiness there, but it's a really, really nice thing to do. Um, and you have a much greater knowledge of vacuum cleaners than... And how they work and everything is just fascinating. Um, so I am very excited to show you these two machines. And you may be wondering, well, hey Luke, what's the name of this special episode today? And its name will be the Extreme Testing Edition of Vacuum Save. Yes, we are on episode 38 already, folks. 38. And I just wanted to say... Thank you to all the people who have helped make that happen for me these past several years that I've been filming vacuums and and for the past year that I've been on YouTube. Thank you to all my local viewers who view me a lot. It, it means a lot to know that you guys actually like this kind of content. Um, so, yeah, keep the support coming. I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Um, so... If this is your first video with me, the videos that I do here on this channel pretty much speak for themselves. Number one and number two, they're broken down into four different parts. Um, so the first part, which you saw there, is the introduction. I will give a story time, a test run, and final thoughts. So totaling four parts. So I mix. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm feeling the happy holiday spirit. And I'm excited to get to show you these machines that really, and when I say this, folks, really pushed my limits of what I could do for these vacuums. And they were very, very, very hard for me to do, but they're working better than ever. And just so you know, the Dyson DC-17 has a, a slight squeaking issue with the wheel. Um... It's not the brush roll, and by the way, that has a new belt. We'll talk to, about that in a few minutes. But, so, let's go ahead and give you the rundown, ladies and gentlemen. Happy holidays. So, on our left-hand side here, for you today, is the Hoover Wind Tunnel Deluxe Mach 3.8 with Embedded Dirt Finder. Take a look at that beauty, folks. Okay, now who's ready for a crown jewel? We haven't seen one of these ever on the channel. We've seen a couple of Dyson machines, but we haven't seen one like this. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, on your right-hand side for you today is a Dyson DC-17 Total Force Absolute. Look at that beautiful blue color, folks. So, repeating on the left-hand side, a Hoover Wind Tunnel Deluxe with Mach 3.8 Dirt Embedded Dirt Finder Technology. And I'll explain that in a minute. And on your right-hand side, the Dyson DC-17 Absolute. Total floors. So those are the two vacuums, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to start today's story time with, um, how about the Hoover? 
think it's the holidays and it actually is the color. So let's do the Hoover first here. My bad. All right, folks. So welcome to part one of story time. Hello, my family and everybody else from Luke the Vacuum Saver fam. It's your boy tuning back in for part one of story time for episode 37 already. So, this is a Hoover Wind Tunnel Deluxe Mach 3.8 with patented wind tunnel technology with an embedded dirt finder. Now, you may be going, now, you may remember back in episode 17, I had a Panasonic. One second there, folks. My bad. Anyhow, look at that clean base plate there. I had a Panasonic that had a dirt finder like this. Okay. But the thing was, the Panasonic is much, much, much more expensive than this vacuum. And what really stood out to me about this one was on the Hoover Wind Tunnel Anniversary Self-Propelled Edition that came back to came out back in 2019 had this feature on it too i've never seen a wind tunnel that that was a normal wind tunnel that had this embedded dirt finder on it and you may be wondering well what is that luke and the embedded dirt finder is a sensor that's inside the motor back here it's inside the motor here okay and what this does is when I turn the vacuum on, this this red light lights up, telling me the carpet's dirty. And then as I push it across the floor, and when I let it hover over a spot, it will turn green, and it's done. And it, the the vac so the, essentially what the vacuum is doing is helping you vacuum. And you know how most people vacuum these days; they just push the the vacuum across the floor real fast, and that's the end of that. Now, I thought I'd take this time to answer a question that I've been getting from my family members a lot, and especially my parents, and that is, what is my favorite vacuum? Totally. What is my favorite vacuum? Well, it was a tie between two vacuums. One was the Sanitaire SC888 that had a 7-amp motor, and it was this, and... I undoubtedly chose the latter, and my and to all my viewers out there, my favorite vacuum ever is the Hoover Wind Tunnel. Yep, the Hoover came out on top for me, and the reason I say it's the Hoover Wind Tunnel is because, you see, most vacuums these days use a cheap 7 amp motor to power their vacuum. This has a 12 amp motor, and you can tell when you turn this thing on. It is sounds just oh so beautiful right now now you may be saying Luke well what's this wind tunnel technology mean well it it is essentially a more powerful path of air inside the vacuum and, and part of it is caused by the 12 amp motor instead of a typical um, 5 or 7 amp motor whatever the vacuums are these days I, I can't even remember um, some are 10 amp my apologies folks there but some are 10 amp vacuums and they're not that powerful i'm not gonna lie but however there's an exception that is a 10 amp vacuum and that is ridiculously powerful and you're gonna hear the brush roll on the carpet it's unbelievable what a just a also nice sound but this hoover wind tunnel i had it since i think thursday and it's been doing an excellent job for me. I I ran it. I, I I haven't cleaned it up since last night, but I ran it this morning and it did a fantastic job for me. So I can't wait to show you guys this end result from a disaster vacuum. And you maybe want and the Dyson is unquestionable. We'll get to him in just a second. But the reason that this 
And, oh, real quick, there's a design flaw with these older Hoovers, and I'm sure some of you can relate to it. Um, so, the first thing is down here with the brush roll. Um, so what the problem is, ladies and gentlemen, is you see this faceplate right here? That pops out so that you can clean all of that, okay? But the thing is, that is a dirt trap in there, and I do not like that design at all. So, um, like just the other day, guy was working on my vacuum. Look at that bottom base plate, though, how clean I got that looking. But I was working on this the other night ago, and dirt just came popping out all over the thing, and it, and it ended up being from this brush roll inside here. People don't know how to clean their vacuums out. But that's the special surprise for you guys. Happy holidays. I am actually going to be posting a video. Let me wrap this cord up, and then we'll get to the Dyson. But I'm actually going to post a video on YouTube for all of my viewers on how to properly maintain your vacuum cleaner. That, and I will do a, an addition of both bagless and bag. So, that's the story time for the Hoover Wind Tunnel. And by the way, this Hoover Wind Tunnel had a ridiculous amount of tape on it. And it was just for a small nick of the cor in the cord. It, it was unbelievable. I, I, I couldn't believe it. But I put it all, I put that with black tape now so it doesn't look so bad. So that's the Hoover Wind Tunnel. Alright, who's ready for the crown jewel? Because I know I am. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Dyson DC-17. Well, isn't this Dyson awfully happy today? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of story time for episode 37 of Vacuum Saved. The extreme, the testing extreme edition, which means these vacuums push me to my limits of what I could do to a vacuum cleaner. So, you may be wondering, well, Luke, how could an innocent little Dyson be so bad? Well, I'm about to tell you. But this thing is probably the most powerful vacuum I have up here right now because it's so nice and clean and you're gonna hear it here in just a little bit and i'm so excited for that um but just take a second to look at this beautiful blue color that this dyson is now most dysons you're come used to seeing either yellow or purple this is from sam's club and you can tell because it is blue i looked on sam's club's site they had this vacuum so, great little vacuum, but it's for a price. Obviously, it's Dyson. But, just what a beautiful vacuum. And, and you won't believe this, folks. Take a look at how beautiful this dirt bin in this brush plate turned out for me here. That was the most difficult part of the vacuum. Here, I'll turn the vacuum sideways so you can see how good it turned out. And I can't wait to run this for you all. It's so powerful, but it's super quiet, too, now that it's all cleaned out. Because, because when I got this vacuum initially, ladies and gentlemen, it was making all kinds of noise and stuff. And, you ready? For I'm going to tell you what was stuck in the brush roll. You ready, ladies and gentlemen? There was a battery. I'm not kidding. Like an actual battery stuck in the vacuum. Now, what person in their right mind sucks up a, a battery with a vacuum? I have no clue, but I was fighting with this thing for hours and, and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours trying to clean this thing up. And, as you can see, man, was it worth it. Just look at this thing. And... And it has something called radial cy it some has something called root cyclone technology. And please don't confuse this with the root the radial cyclone technology. So what the difference between the two types of cyclone technologies are, ladies and gentlemen, is 
the dice and balls have the rad the radial cyclone technology, which means more powerful airflow for an ultimate better carpet pickup experience. Well, this has the same thing. Well, since it has well, since it has so much more hoses compared to a Dyson ball, this has to have root cyclone technology, which means it's powering both tools and the actual vacuum motor. So, uh, overall, this turned out great. It, it has a new belt. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. But, and then it, I also put a new filter in it as well so this puppy is ready to go for the test area today just take a look at how beautiful this thing turned out and by the way ladies and gentlemen this thing was disgusting when i got it i'm not even kidding so just clean off a little bit there but like i said this was nasty 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 when i got it um now please don't since you now one thing I'm gonna point out there's a similarity of this vacuum I'm gonna set it down on the ground here to show you guys but there's a similarity you may notice this base plate if any of you have a DC 14 or a DC 33 you're gonna notice that your vacuum has this plate where it has quarters and stuff well mine's all chewed up here for some reason or another I don't know why it came to me that way but um, probably somebody tried to use a screwdriver or a drill, well, don't y use quarters, do what they tell you to do, um, so, but there's the brush roll area, and as you guys can see, this thing turned out terrific, and it, like I said, it was making an awful noise when I got it, and now it doesn't make an, an, any noise at all, besides the noise that it's supposed to make, which is the iconic vacuum sound of a Dyson. So, and when I turn this thing on, you guys are going to notice that this is one healthy Dyson because of me right now. And that is why I call this the, the worst vacuum I ever did, ladies and gentlemen. This was the most challenging vacuum I've ever had in the shop here. And I didn't think I'd say that for seven years, but this is the pure definition of insanity but to all my friends at wow outlet um, i recorded a video of it running that first night that it was fixed so that all you guys can hear it um but this does have a slight squeal in the in the wheels there and if you hear the brush roll pounding extra hard on the carpet that if there's nothing wrong with it it's just that powerful now um, so that is the Dyson DC-17. Now it's time for a test run, ladies and gentlemen. And since I have the Dyson DC-17 out, we'll save the best for last. Let's go ahead and test the Dyson DC-17. Okay, let's do this. I'm very excited for you guys to see this one. And let me know how everything is going in the comment sections down below for you guys. I'd love to hear from you. So let's see how this stands up against its challenger, the Hoover Wind Tunnel Deluxe. I don't know, folks. This is going to be a close one. Both of them are really, really, really powerful now. So let's plug this into my new power bank here. All right. So... What do you say we give this good old Dyson a test run? So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to hear the sound of this Dyson, okay? So here comes the Dyson DC-17 in 3, 2, 1. Listen to that, folks. How nice that sounds after refurbishment. My golly. Good golly, Miss Molly. I can't wait to hear this vacuum run for you guys. So we'll just do a couple up and down passes since this is still pretty bad. And I'll admit it, I'm going to do better work on it. 
more advanced work with the wheels and stuff. But I'm excited for you guys to hear this thing. So here comes the DC-17 in 3, 2, 1. Hey, hey, that's not bad for a Dyson, is it, folks? From the worst vacuum to that. Look at that, folks. How good of a job did I do on that? Let me know in the comments sections down below. Um, and if that is not the wheel noise, um, maybe somebody who's a professional maybe could let me know what that noise is. And I will be happy to fix that. Um, but this was god-awful when I got it. You know what? Let's hear that again, folks. That's amazing. Actually, not. We're going to test the Hoover. So, that was the Dyson DC-17 for you. Look at those carpet lines. Unbelievable how good that thing did. Well, let's see. Does the wind tunnel stand a chance against the Dyson? I'm not sure. Let's see. Because Dyson is known for beating other competitors. And boy, it may have just did it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let, let's see. Does the Hoover live up to its name with wind tunnel technology? I don't know. Well, Hoover, I'm sure hope your wind tunnel technology is ready because you're turning right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait for you to hear this one either. It sounds so nice. Are you guys ready? That's what I thought you said. Yeah, you guys are. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just hear the Hoover Wind Tunnel first here. So here comes the Hoover Wind Tunnel in three, two, one. Oh, that embedded dirt finder, that's green, meaning it, it's detecting nothing right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard me over the vacuum, but when that light was lit up green, it means it wasn't detecting anything on the carpet. So, let's go ahead and give our new Hoover Wind Tunnel Deluxe a test run in 3, 2, and 1. Listen to that, folks. So let me know in the comments section down below which vacuum did you think did better. Because right now I can't tell. So I'll wrap this one up and I'll give final thoughts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these two together and I'll give final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts on these two. As you guys could see, both of them did a splendid job on both of their sides of the carpet and I think you can tell why. Um... 
So, I really love these vacuums, and they're both really powerful, and I can't wait to have other ones in in the future. You guys know who I am. I'll, I'll do a good job with these ones. So, guys, this has been Luke the Vacuum Saver, and I hope you all enjoy your rest of your day. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks for watching.